These small robots and the students driving them are competing to gather mock natural resources like diamonds and gold. The robots were built by teams of young people gathered in Dakar for the annual Pan-African Robotics Competition. This year's theme is Made in Africa and focuses on how robotics could help local economies. Uh, we've noticed that uh, most, people, most countries that have developed uh, in the, the likes of the United States uh, have based their development on manufacturing and industrialization. And African countries, on the other hand, are left behind in this uh, race. And so we thought it would be a good idea to inspire the kids to tell them about uh, the importance of manufacturing, the importance of industry, and the importance of creation and product development. During the week, the students were split into three groups. The first group worked on robots that could automate warehouses. The second created machines that could mine resources. And the third group was tasked to come up with a new African product and describe how they would build it. 17-year-old Mariam Toure and her team built a robot that would be able to work in mines. This helps us get more involved in science. Learning to program robots allows us to develop a certain aptitude in robotics that will serve us in the future. Competing against Toure is Usman Lo, also of Senegal. He says robots could solve problems in Africa, in particular in agriculture. Right now, it's machines that dominate. What we can't do, machines can do. A winning team was named in each category, but Endow hopes the real winner will be science and math education in Africa. The idea is that we will have African university that have standard similar or perhaps better standard than European and American university so that the students who are thousands of the millions of them in uh, Africa have the chance to have a higher state of the art education in the continent. If this is what the students could do with just one week of instruction, imagine what they could do with more. Ricky Shryock for VOA News, Dakar.